Mm. It's, it's, it's turkey time. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's show. We're gonna be jumping in the truck and heading westward bound over to Rushford, Minnesota. And we're gonna be doing a little turkey hunting with our good friends from Baronet Blinds. You know what, Michael and Will, they got the kids all packed up, ready to rock and roll. And the kids are excited to shoot some turkeys. Hey, so hang on to your heinies, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Hey, Turkey! How you doing this morning? You're looking fine. You're looking mighty fine. Nice shot, dude. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> safety, safety on. Safety on. Nice shot. <laughs> that was, was awesome. I'm loving it. That was awesome. That was awesome. It looked like they got a little nervous at the end there, a little. I didn't yeah. know what they were gonna do, right? That is awesome. Here, let's put this down. So let's just go down. <laughs> so let's talk about this. I mean, like. What do you think at the end they got nervous about? You think they were going to come any closer? Or you think they were going to sca scatter? I think they were going to scatter. Yeah. They were heading that, down that way. Right. Boy, I'll tell you what, you did an awesome job because they were tight together. And to be able to wait and get that opportunity that they separated, that you didn't get both of them, mm -hmm. right? That was absolutely, that was cool. That I'm was loving awesome. this stuff. Awesome. I'm awesome. shaking like a leaf. Fun. What right? did Larry tell us? What time? 10 o'clock. What time is it? 10 30. Mm. Oh, 10 30. 30. <laughs> so that is awesome. These awesome. birds, oh, these birds were roosted. Oh. Yeah, let's hit yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's talk about this morning. You know, we got in here at uh, about a little after five, and uh, we weren't in here very long, and they just started absolutely gobbling like crazy. Right, yeah. and now we must have had how many turkeys? Do you think we had that we could Probably hear? Six or seven. Yeah, that yeah, were that were close. That were close. That were close. Yeah. yeah. All claimed to be on Larry's side. Of course, they were all on my side. <laughs> so, and they snuck around the back side of us, and then they ended up on your side, right? Right. But right. it's a that's a patient thing too, you know, because yeah. it's ten thirty now, and. Let's go out there and get that yeah, bird. Let's go get it. 
Hey everybody, it is the first morning of a three day hunt. We're up here in Minnesota on our farm up here turkey hunting and we got Jack and Will and I'll tell you something, let's talk a little bit about really how this whole day came about or how this whole morning came about. You know, we left the house at about five o'clock, started walking down this way and I was, I was a little surprised even though I get up every day pretty early how light it was starting to get and fast, yes. you know? Yeah. So we got the decoy set up, we got in the blind, probably in the blind for, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and the goblin started, yeah, right? And it, and, it, and it was... It was more like surround sound goblin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that there, myself, from what we could hear, like you said before, Jack, we had probably eight birds, six, eight birds close yep. gobbling in different directions on each side of us. And the interesting part is that, you know, we're, this is all big valleys here and bluffs, and it always sounds like no matter what side of the blind you're on, they're on your side, right? So <laughs> it was kind of an argument back and forth of where the birds were. But make it, make it, re make it realistic, they were all around us, right? And we probably saw heard at least 20 birds yep. in the whole valley here. Yep. Let's talk a little bit yep. about that. that that I typically do not use a, the three quarter strut, yeah. But I'm gonna go buy one now. Yeah, right. They're uh, uh, they're pretty amazing. I've actually almost exclusively went to using, sometimes only the three quarter strut. Um, Why do you uh, think that is? It makes those gobblers mad. They saw that, and you could tell. And I hope it shows up on the video that in you know they were kind of gobbling back in there and they were they were their heads were red but as soon as he come around that brush pile and saw that decoy he he was coming he I mean, fired he, up his head right. turned beet red again and he started coming in on that stomp well so. congratulations thank you thank you for the now we're gonna go back and let's uh see what everybody else did and uh hopefully let's cook up some fish i'm getting hungry i can yeah, tell right. you that that's right all right nice job hang on to your heinies everybody <laughs> we got more to come It's all about enjoying the outdoors and what an awesome morning we had today. You know, Michael, I thought it was pretty cool this morning when Marco said that he wanted to shoot a Jake, right? And just so you guys know the backstory, the backstory is that Marco has shot a fair amount of Toms already, but he never shot a Jake. So let's kind of talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I didn't, I actually didn't think he was being serious. But Apparently he, he was serious. <laughs> he was dead serious. Yeah. <laughs> He wanted to shoot a Jake. I did. I I thought I'll probably pass on that Jake. But when the, when those Jakes came in, he wanted to he wanted to shoot him. I I sure wasn't gonna stop him. Yeah. So you guys are gonna go back out this afternoon. Raina's she. It's her turn to shoot now, yep. and you're waiting for a big gobbler, huh? Yep. Yeah. 
Marco, what are you going to say about your Jake? You're going to tell the people at home anything about the Jake? You got a smile on your face. <laughs> say, tell something, right? How? Uh, all of a sudden, we look to our right and see these two black shapes, and it was still relatively dark out and it was foggy. Yeah. And I realized there were two, two Jakes, so I started walking in, and they come near the decoys and. I just shoot it. It was game on. <laughs> just that easy. You just shot, right? Game on. Hey, we got a lot more to come, so you guys hang on to your heinies. Hey, well, let's talk about the Baronet blind. You know, this blind is extremely durable. I I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not, but I leave my blinds up year-round. I do. It's uh, And so far, a couple of these blinds that I've had up, I've had them up for four years. And uh, really, besides popping them back up uh, in the spring, and maybe if you get a, a huge rainstorm or something like that in the summer, really they have been pretty durable. But this is an interesting blind here. Let's talk about yep. this. So this is this is our high five blind, and um, it's it's the top end of our blinds um, for Baronet. Um, it starts with the fabric on these. Uh, a lot of the blinds you get, some of the fabric is is really uh, really loose. It's uh, in, in blind terms, it's 150 denier. What this blind is, is actually two chunks of fabric welded together. So that does a couple things. First, obviously it gives a really good thick fabric um, from punctures and just, it's durable. Um, the other thing it does is is the, the um, color uh, stays on this. So you got black on the back, um, camo on the front, and it doesn't, it doesn't fade like other blinds do. Uh, the real awesome part of this blind is our is our one-way mesh on it. Um, and let's can, tell everybody what one-way yeah. mesh means because so, maybe if somebody hasn't experienced it, you know, you guys, I will show you what it really what it means. It's and it's incredible because just the way that you, you have such a great visual of everything that's happening around you. Yep. Yeah. So this this blind right here with this window shut right here, when you're on the inside, you can actually see out. Um, and we were we were watching that Jake um, for a while, and and I don't know if you could see this on the inside here, but all of the windows are open. We didn't even blacken out um, any of the windows in the back. Um, 
you can't do that if you have a window open. Now we do have a window open here to shoot out of, but every other thing we can really be aware of what's what's uh, what's around you, and um, it just it's a whole nother experience when you start hunting out of one way mesh blinds or one way see through blinds. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, it feels like you should be seen, right? Um, and uh, and then in the end, obviously we get a bird at, at 20 yards, and and um, um, Jack took him out. So. You can't stop fighting all the time. What's wrong with you? Right? Do we need more plates? I don't know, do we? There you go. Put it here on your chest. See? Put a couple right in there. I think there's chicken in there. Oh, there's a it isn't like it's pretty easy to eat. It's like the easiest to eat thing. What's in your lead? What's in your lens? A red bean? Got something in here. Excuse me. thing about turkeys is you got to get up so early all right you got to beat them up and I'll tell you, you go to bed late get up early it's not a bad life It's almost like the days when you had a Harley and you were waving to the guy on a bike. You see another warrior on the water, you just get a good view. First class all the way from the people that ride them to the people that make them. They do such a nice job with communication. They'll pick up the phone anytime. It's, it's really almost a friendship. You could be in any state and when somebody with a warrior drives by you, you get that honk, that beep. You're truly part of a family and there's nothing like it. Introducing Forever Barnwood. Transform your space with the warmth and character of a genuine barnwood look. Forever Barnwood offers over 200 authentic barnwood products. We are commercial and food safe. Our products are available in unlimited quantities while still providing the consistency you need to complete large projects. All of this while still looking like it came out of a hundred year old barn. Forever Barnwood, bring the history inside. Hi, I'm Hannah Brune and this is the Leroy Lunchtime. We are currently making pizzas on the L Leroy line. So our normal flavors are pepperoni, cheese, sausage, um, a combo which we have pepperoni and sausage on, sausage and mushroom. And if you call our office, we would be happy to take any custom orders that you would like to place. And that was our Leroy Lunchtime, now back to the show. Stinker, what are you doing? Hey, dude, you gotta get back in the blind. We're turkey hunting, let's go. Stinker, get out of the decoys. You can't.
can't be in the decoys. We're trying to get some turkeys. Let's go, get back in the blind. Get back in there, let's go. Stinker, come on. Stinker, what are you doing? We gotta get him. Hey, you're scaring the turkeys. What do you mean? You're sick of turkey hunting. It's only 9.30 in the morning, buddy. Come on, let's get back in the blind. Hey, oh, hang on. I got cookies for you, come on. Cookies? What? Stinker. Oh, leave them. Huh. Let's get back in the blind. You know, what an awesome couple of days we had up at the farm here in Minnesota. You know, Rena, I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun. And too bad them darn turkeys, they outsmarted us a little bit on this trip. But you know what? There's a lot more years to come. And you know, I love the enthusiasm and the patience that you had. Hey, want to thank Jack and Marco. Congratulations on the two birds that they got. What an awesome time we had. You know, hunting is more than just killing things. You know, hunting is about really enjoying time with family, enjoying time with friends, and really having a good time. And wow, the food that we had the last couple of days was awesome too. You know, it just makes an all around great trip like we do each and every week. We wanna thank all of our military men and women for the great service that they have given this country and continue to give this country, along with all of our firefighters and paramedics and no doubt all of our law enforcement agents. Hey, it is a great day to be alive, folks. And no doubt, we're gonna see you guys and gals again next week. And thanks for joining us. What were you eating last night? Burritos with chili sauce on them. Mm, man, you reek. You guys got permission to be here? Yeah. Well, yeah, a little stinker gave us No, you're, no, no. You, you're not even here. <laughs> you're not. Mud sculptures. <laughs> Man, you got Max dialed in on calls now? He's a turkey caller? No, Raina. Oh, Raina is. Oh, I was saying, Max, you turkey caller? You want turkey?